we starting welcome everyone we starting in 1 minute let me introduce myself in the meantime my name is chetan singh and i'll be your host for this webinar today in today's webinar we'll talk we'll learn about how to extract useful data from scc online database using the browse method i can i would suggest that you can also open your laptop while we are going through this you can try it and in the last once this webinar uh, is 10 minutes before this we end this webinar we will open the question and answer round for everyone you can see the chat on your right hand side that chat would be used as a question you can put in your question over there and i'll try to answer as many question as i can uh to to start with uh hello everyone uh, i'm seeing some few chats uh i'm glad that a lot of people have uh, re responded pretty well to this uh, first webinar that we are conducting uh we had a few uh, questions uh, the initially in the morning uh, some people reached out to a lot of us asking about how can we get to know about this, this information how do we get to know about this webinars in first place so uh stick around uh once we are done with this browse features i will also take you through how you can subscribe to our newsletter which will ensure that you are you never you'll never miss out on any information as far as uh, any trainings are concerned any webinars are concerned any new features are concerned and moreover also giving you an update about the latest judgments uh, in a synopsis uh, manner so a further ado i'll start the session now i'm i'm sure that everyone can see the screen uh, we already logged into scc online uh, web uh, software and as you can see there are three different uh, tiles uh, we have research my library and links today's webinar is about my library so we'll start with the first one we'll click on the first option that is browse created topics now these curated topics are well specially curated by our ssc online editorial team wherein we have selected few topics and we have we have given you judgments in the form of case uh, under the heading of case laws statutes which are uh, which are pertaining to that particular topic articles rules treaties whatever that is relevant under that topic would be stacked over here this will just further strengthen your research to start with this you can see the left hand side panel which has various topics over here arbitration aviation law biotechnology biological diversity competition law and so on and so forth for example i click on competition law the moment i click on competition law it will further expand the tree giving me what showing me what is inside it so you can see statutory law rules and regulation notification circular instructions case law and articles now having said that if i click on statutory law i'll get all the relevant acts which are there which are linked directly or indirectly to competition law click on any of the act or the entry it will display on the right hand side from here as you can see the top toolbar there are few action buttons you can click on this speaker button it will start reading the entire text to text for you you can save this text you can email it to anyone you can print it you can increase or decrease the size and a few other options like you can add to my ssc online folder i will see the case reference and so on and so forth going further in this going deeper rather i just collapse this tree and let's get to case laws if i click on case laws all the relevant judgments all the important judgments that are there on competition law are stacked over here now a lot of times you must be wondering that there are so many cases on competition law but why do we have only 25 30 cases mentioned over here 
Certainly, if you want to find something on the word, on the topic competition law, the word search would be your best friend to do that. However, the aim that uh, the purpose of putting these uh, judgments over here is a hand, these are hand picked judgments from our editorial department, which are important landmark judgments on the topic competition law. As you click on any of this, let's take the latest one. One click on this, the full judgment appears over here. And this would be the, a regular judgment that you can that you would have found out if you would have you would have done a word search, you would have found the same judgment. But over here it's is being presentable to you on a platter. Going ahead, moving to the next search now. I'll click on this nine dot icon over here and will bring me back to the SEC online dashboard. Moving to the next search, browse law reports. A lot of times when you're searching for a searching for a judgment, you only have a citation of other journals. And let's suppose you're using SCC online. Certainly you can use equivalent citations by the if you go to find by citation option, which we'll be covering in the coming seminar seminar, in the coming uh, webinars. However, in case you come to law reports, browse law reports. You see the list of all the journals that, uh, that we have in India. In case I want to click on and see Delhi Law Times, DLT, it'll show me the list and it'll be indexed year wise, the volume wise. If I click on the latest one, 2020 20, uh, DLT, you'll see all the latest judgments that were printed or published in DLT journal. Click on one, it'll do the same thing. It'll just display the full judgment right over here. The features remain the same. I think by now we would all have would have understood that how easy it is to uh, play around with this browse feature. Because everything is placed right in front of you. All you have to do is click, browse, and select, and that thing will get displayed on the right hand side. Moving ahead. While we are doing all this, I would highly recommend you can uh, keep noting your questions down because in the last 10 minutes I will, tell, I will get onto that uh, part as well. Moving uh, to the next part, browse judgment by court. Now a lot of times you want to see latest judgments from Supreme Court, High Court uh, and tribunals but you in order to see the latest judgment, you need to know the topic on which topic the latest judgment has been decided. However, when you come to this part, you can see India and other countries' data over here. I think let me just uh, make one thing uh, very clear over here. What you can see is India and other international uh, jurisdiction as well. I'm using an international package, which is uh, SEC Online Platinum Plus package, which gives me access to Indian database. That means all the high court Supreme Court, Honorable Supreme Court of judgment, uh, Judgments, Tribunals, uh, then your international courts, your, your uh, other 24 countries, bills in parliament uh, and uh, articles, everything is together. If you're using the Indian package, then you would not see any of these countries over here. You'll only be seeing Indian, uh, Supreme, Indian Supreme Court and Federal Court along with High Court's data over here. So don't be surprised. It's about it depends on the package that you are uh, that you are subscribed to. I'll click on Supreme Court right now. Let's see. I want to let's say I want to see the latest judgment from this uh, this particular year. So I click on the law, the current decade. That's 2020. Click on the 2020 part. Let's say March. Now the moment you click on the month, it will expand the tree with the date uh, with the dates. You can select any day, let's say let's say 4th or 4th of March. The moment I click on 4th of March, it'll show me the, all the judgments which were decided in the Honorable Supreme Court of India on 4th of March in this year. So without writing a single word, without selecting the range, I just have to click and everything just gets in front of me. Everything just gets presented in front of me. These options stays over here. 
you can save this entire judgment you can print this you can also do copy paragraphs right from here let's go further again clicking on the dashboard icon bringing back the dashboard now let's talk about browse acts and rules now browse acts and rules uh, as we all know the acts are available uh, everywhere on Google and in the libraries and I'm sure nowadays you have apps which are also providing you a soft copy right in your five inch device that's your mobile phone what extra can we expect or why should we even come over here to see the bear uh, uh, to see the central acts first and the foremost basic reason is is everything is at one place so you don't have to go to different different places so we're trying to put everything in one place so that when you're researching you can add those things in your folders take a printout it becomes your workstation second the more important uh, factor is now if you can see it says constitution of india central act state acts and so on and so forth i click on constitution of india let's say article 1 to 51a we have done this uh, bifurcation so that in case you want to copy or you want in disk you want to save this particular uh, constitution of india and not the entire one you want to pick up only a part of it then this bifurcation will simply help because if i click on 1 to 51a and save over here it's going to save only that part but now let's come and see what's an extra what's what the editorial department has done for all, all of us over here now have a look you see uh, some blue color boxes on, on, on your screen right now. I keep scrolling down and you'll again see something coming up in the blue color boxes. What are these? Now these are important, uh, these are judgments on this point of, uh, on these sections, on these articles. Now what you can see right now, we are, we are on part two of the Constitution of India, we talk about citizenship. Now over here, while you're reading the difference between citizenship and uh, domicile, you can also you'll also be, you're also getting a judgment on the said differentiation. So it says citizenship and domicile represent two different con uh, conceptions. Citizenship has the reference to the political status of a person, and domicile to a civil rights. And right after that, you see the party name and a citation uh, attached to it. So. If you are looking for a judgment on this, which talks about citizenship and domicile difference, I think this is what it is for you. It's just right, it's presented right over here for you. One click on the citation, it'll open the full judgment on the screen itself. And will not, you know, it'll not, you will not lose out this screen, the, the present screen. The, the judgment will open up into a new window. And not only in this constitution of India, let's go further, let's go deep in this. I'm clicking on central acts and rules. And let me say uh, CPC, section 1 to 78. You can see the same blue color boxes are present over here. And there it is. So if you want to see the, the difference, the distinction between decree and order, it's right given over here. The determination for determining the question as whether an order passed by a court is decree or not, it must satisfy the following tests. And these are not something which are made by the editorial department, but these are the smaller text which have, we have selected from the judgment and picked up, picked it up from there and just paste it over here so that when you are reading the Bayer Act, you know from the practical front as well as how it was applied in the real world. I hope this uh, this some um, uh, this is an interesting part, and I'm sure a lot of people would uh, would be uh, would like it. Uh, if you like this thing, please do uh, mention in the last uh, question answer round. I would really appreciate uh, if you can just let us let us all know that what you liked and what you would like to have more on SEC. Moving ahead, browse articles. Now, browse articles is for the people who have joined me from universities, academicians, 
directors of universities, professors, doctors, uh, PhD students. What it does is it gives you access to uh, articles, few lectures, which are Tiger Law lectures, very important lectures, which have uh, uh, which was very uh, important, uh, brought a lot of paradigm shift to the Islamic law uh, law rules. Now, to start with, I click on Law Review Journals. Over here, it gives you access to 40 plus Indian and international uh, journals. The list is exhaustive. You can scroll through the, scroll through it, and you'll see all the journals right over here. NLJU, Law Weekly, Journal of Campus Law Center, GLC, Practical Lawyer, that is SEC's uh, in-house uh, journal sec uh, section, Nirma University, and so on and so forth. Let me click on one. Uh, I'm going with the Aligarh Law Journal. Click on the last uh, available journal. Now we can see you're not because you're not searching, you're browsing. It's give you. It's opens up the entire index of that journal, and when it does, it also tells you what all on what all topics the articles were published. So it says about hate speech and freedom of speech, award of compensation under employees. Cyber crimes, dissolution of marriage by Kula, and so on and so forth. Now, as I click on it, it just gets displayed over there. However, what if one of you want to just have a look at how many articles are there on hate speech and freedom of speech? And because the there are 40 plus journals, you can't be clicking on all of it to see it. So we have also given you this filter option right next to it. One click on this, it opens up the search option and I just write hate speech, start search. And you see, it's giving me the journals. It has searched, sub-searched in the journals without leaving the browse uh, facility. Now it says, I think a law journal has something on hate speech. Compared to constitutional law and abatement law, quarterly has something, NEJ has, NEJS has uh, something on hate speech, and so on and so forth. But even back to your lawyer for that matter. Now, you click on this, it just gets displayed over there. So it's not that you have to scroll through the entire thing and then get rather, rather get lost in the humongous database. It also gives you uh, freedom to search and get to, uh, get to information that you're looking for. There's, there's, there are a few reports over here, there are a few essays, Tiger Law Lectures, right from uh, 1870 to 19, uh, 1940, uh, 1942 is available over here. The methodology remains the same. One click on this, it gets displayed on the right hand side. Moving ahead, clicking back on the dashboard icon, browse secondary materials. Now. Um, we all been looking at, uh, till now we've been looking at the primary source of law, acts, judgments. Now it's the time to talk about secondary materials. So over here, you see bills in parliament. So you can see the bills as, as and when they were introduced in one of the houses or as when they were passed by one of the houses. So by clicking on those things, you can get the access to that. Next thing is constitutional documents. Now, in constitutional documents, we have this very important uh, thing, constitutional assembly debates. Now, all the 12 volumes are stacked right over here for your reference. But what is more important is the index. Let's have a look at this. Now, it says the COI article to draft article. It says constitutional assembly debates index, COI article to draft article. Now, let's say you're looking at Article, let's say Article 16, which talks about equality, uh, equal uh, opportunity to the uh, citizen of India. Now you want to see, you know, when it when as we all know that the Constitution Assembly debates are the base of the Constitution of India. Now, in case I want to see where exactly Article 16 was discussed in the Constitution Assembly debates, this comparative table will just help me out with this because. In the Constitution of India, currently, it's Article 16. However, in the draft article, 
of the Constitution, it was Article 10. So I can just go back to the Constitution and Simple Debates, read about Article 10, which will give me the idea of what is being now called as Article 16. So this is complete for all the uh, for all the articles of Constitution of India. So you can feel free go through it, and I'm sure this is, this will come in pretty handy. Moving ahead, the historical trials. So the few important uh, historical trials uh, that we have brought uh, bringing you out away is Balrinder Tilak, Maharaja Nand Kumar case, so Roger Casement case, and as you click on it, the full judgment will open up. In the in the parts the way it was being uploaded uh, for everyone and you can you can have a look on it notification circulars instruction gives you access to notifications pertaining to specific department now what if you are going on Google and searching for latest notification on uh, let's say Central Bank of India you go over there and you say you know Sent not, latest notification on Central Bank of India, and it says 2018 was the time was the when the latest notification came in on this on on this particular department in the, or this particular department. Now you're not really sure if 2018 is the latest or they have been new on any uh, notification post 2018. So to curve that doubt to to make sure, ensure that we are not doubtful about those things. This notification part will come in handy. For example, say, let me click on Agriculture uh, Ministry. The moment I click on Agriculture Ministry, all the notifications are stacked in year-wise format. So I will click on 2020. So the notification that came in 2020 on the top uh, uh, on, on the topic of Agriculture Ministry on the department in the Agriculture Ministry department are listed over here. One click on this gives you access to that. So this was came this came in March came on March second of 2020 this year itself, and I'm sure though if you go further down you might see something more. Oh, it's dated 24th of March this year. Similarly, we can click on circulars, instructions, and so on and so forth. I'm sure everyone knows how to go about this. I'll move to the next topic that is policy documents. Now, till now we're talking about notification. Now the policy documents are policies pertaining to specific fraternity, specific area. Now, you can see the list is uh, listed right over here. I wanna, let's say I wanna click on FDI. One click on FDI. I'm sorry, I just lost my, uh, just the earphone just went off. I hope you can hear me. So, if I click on FDI, I get all the policy circulars right under that head. And the latest one was 2019. One click on that, and you get to see the latest notification of a latest uh, policy circular on FDI. Moving ahead, then we have reports of commission and committees. Now over here we have around approximately 28, 30 law reports from commission and committees, and the most important of all, the law commission report. If I click on that you'll see the first report which was uh, submitted in the in the parliament and which was passed by the uh, which was accepted by the parliament was report number 1 in the year 1956 till the latest one all are stacked right over here you know you know the drill how it needs to be done one click on this it just gets displayed over there so i think overall uh, everyone uh, would would have realized by now that the moment uh, you click on something on the left side, it gets displayed on the right hand side. So we have kept the entire all the screens in a uniform in a uniform manner so that you know it's not a new learning on every page that you land on. It's the same way. Moving to the last feature that is browse treaties. Now again. Uh, those who are, have Indian packet, Indian uh, database uh, subscription, they would only be able to see bilateral uh, bilateral treaties, and those who have international package would also be able to see the multilateral treaties. I click on uh, bilateral for now. It's all alphabetically arranged. I click on A. It just gets opened up, and I click on any of this. It just starts showing me over there. 
Now, also the filter option works over here. Now, what if I want to search for something? Let's say extradition. It'll show me all the extradition treaties that India has been a part of. Similarly, let's have a look at for something uh, which will be a part of a multilateral treaty. Uh, how about arbitration? So you see, uh, you have European Convention on International Commercial Arbitration, ICC Operation Rules, and so on and so forth. So that brings us to the end of this detailing uh, part. Now I can open the uh, this webinar for question. Before that, I think I just missed out one thing. I'll take you back to that. I'll take to I'll take you to browse acts and rules again. We talked about that the central acts are kept over here. If you see, these are around 15, 18 uh, central acts which are stacked on the top. These are those which are used on a daily basis. The remaining acts are stacked over here alphabetically. So anything that you want to see starting like say Advocate Act or uh, you know this uh, Arms Act, Adhikari Act, Aadhaar Targeted Delivery Act will be stacked under A and things which are starting from B, C, D will be stacked under that particular letter. And uh, before we, yes, before we go uh, into the question answer round, I promised to all of you that you can get the first hand information. So how do you get to get to know the first hand information? Let me just go into it. For that, I need to log out myself. Okay, so this is for everyone to do. Oh, this is a join the webinar. I think all of us are already on to it. And it's an overwhelming response. I can see that a lot of uh, three, three digit number people are already on it. Now, once you're on the website, that is sccaonline.com, you scroll down to the bottom of the page. And over here it says newsletter subscription. Your email address, please. So I put in my email ID and I click on subscribe now. Uh, it says you're already subscribed uh, because I'm already subscribed to this uh, newsletter. However, once you will put in your uh, email ID over here and click on subscribe, it will say you have been subscribed to the newsletter and you'll get a lot of lot of information coming down your way. And let me just log in and then we take the questions. Now, okay, so let's have a look. Please shed light on searching tools. Uh, okay, uh, Mr. Datta, uh, today was a session about uh, browsing part, so we're not we're not going for the research uh, option, but I'm sure uh, in the coming days we will be talking about each and every uh, uh, options that are available on SCC online. So uh, don't worry about it, and uh, just subscribe to the newsletter, and you'll get to know when uh, we are getting onto uh, the the search uh, the search webinars. Okay, how much time do we take to upload the amendments uh, in the act? So these are on the, I think um, usually on this, uh, I think we take 72 hours uh, at max, but usually it is done on the uh, on the same day basis, but I don't want to quote on this, but yeah, three days is what you can expect. Okay, it looks user friendly. However, how long does it take to reflect new amendments? I think I've already answered that, uh, Chetali. Uh, what else? Uh, okay. Uh, I think Karan has already answered that we're covering the search methods in the future webinars. Okay, uh, dear sir, is there any link on SCC Online that directs us to the original government notification or press releases as government accept original releases? Okay, um, that is uh, Harini. Harini, uh, we don't uh, give you external links. Um, uh, from SSC uh, website. However, having said that, you can be assured that uh, anything that is put in, being put on SEC is vetted three times before it uh, goes online, and we do not download any single thing from uh, uh, from any website. We go through the the professional channel. We go to the uh, we follow the pro proper protocol, and anything that you see over here is we have the copies of it. 
back at our office. So you can put it over, we can take the SEC uh, printout, it'll say SEC logo on it, and trust you me that all the all the offices, all the officers are using the SEC online, uh, the judicial officers and everyone, and they would they would uh, simply take this off. Yeah, okay, uh, many cases do uh, many cases do not have head notes. Uh, Jitain, yes, uh, many cases would not have uh, head notes because what we're doing is the later judgments, uh, when the later judgment comes in, we, rather than waiting for the head notes to come in, which sometimes take a month, take might take two months, depending on the length of the judgment, we give you the, the judgment uh, as it was uh, uploaded on... Uh, the Supreme Court of India website or High Court website, and in the in the background we keep on working on the head notes. And as in when the head notes are made and the, the judgment is published in the the SEC journal, we replace it with that. So you can uh, you can be assured that that will come the moment uh, head notes are being made. Okay, can we access online from home uh, with the official IDs? Uh, Kanchan, I'm not really sure if you can access SEC online from home. Uh, I'm assuming uh, that you might be uh, a part of a law firm which would have a IP access or you might be a student of a university. Uh, in any of those cases, if you're a student, you can ask uh, for uh, your uh, IT in charge to give you access to uh, your uh, to remote access. Otherwise, simply just go to SEC online, just put your ID and password. If you have the ID password, you can access from anywhere. Uh, please, uh, Kanchan, uh, do let me know in the comments uh, if uh, you are a law student or you are, a, you know, you are a practicing advocate. I can probably then uh, advise accordingly. Uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, Rahul Datta, sir, uh, like I could not uh, download 950 SCR 594 even after quite a few attempts. Um, so all the judgments are downloadable. In case you have any uh, problems downloading or anything, you can simply give us a call on our toll-free number, which is 1-800-102-7227. Uh, the same is uploaded on the on the website where we went to subscribe ourselves. Right next to it, there'll be a toll-free number. You can give us a call from Monday to Saturday, 10 in the morning till uh, 7 in the evening. You can uh, We can take care of that. I missed a topic wise. Could we please this uh, repeat this, please? Uh, Rishi, uh, we'll be we didn't cover the topic wise uh, in this session. We talked about the browse part, and uh, this uh, video would be available on uh, SCC, so you can take a have a look. You can read on through it. Uh, okay, uh, section of paragraph in word search results. Sometimes selection is okay. Harini, uh, you can copy a particular uh, paragraph. From the judgment, a uh, lot of times when the head, no head notes are not copyable, so you can't copy your head notes, and probably that's what uh, you were uh, you were trying to copy. As far as the judgment is concerned, you would notice. Uh, let me have a let me show you how it's gonna how it's gonna, gonna look over here itself. Uh, so, question to Harini uh, about the paragraphs: How do we copy a particular paragraph in the judgment? So, when you get to the judgment, right now I'm not opening the judgment. Uh, so we were on this. So uh, minus the head notes part, when you get to the full judgment, you will see this icons over here, over there in the judgment. You do a single click on this. You select your paragraphs uh, that you want to get, uh, want to copy, and after selecting, you go on the top. It says Smart Copy. You click on that. All these uh, four, like four paragraphs, five or six paragraphs, depending on how, what uh, what number of paragraphs you selected. It'll get copied into a different window. The only thing needs to be uh, taken care of at this time, Harini, would be that your pop-up blocker should be uh, should be disabled. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm sorry. There's so many questions going on. Uh, I'm from Golgotia University. How to search from home? Shams uh, Shams Khan. Uh, you can access uh, the database uh, from home through your uh, through logging to your university portal and going to the e-library. And over there, under e-library uh, section, you'll have SEC. Once you click on it, you'll get access to that particular thing. I hope that helps. Uh, which is the oldest? And oldest. Uh, okay, uh, the price is too high for law students. Uh, uh, Hemdeep. Uh, 
we don't charge the law students uh, if you really look at it the universities uh, charge uh, the university we charge the university and it's very very uh, very very cheap uh, rates uh, please uh, um, i think you can uh, get in touch with uh, you can uh, uh, send us an email on sales@seconline.com giving us uh, a reference of your librarian or the director we'll get in touch with them and if you don't have one sec on your in your campus i'm sure your university would love to have one yeah could we publish uh, articles rishi kapoor yes you can certainly publish uh, articles uh, for that there's a blog website that you can just simply go to blog.secconline.com uh, i'll repeat it again uh, it's blog.secconline.com and you can uh, publish your articles over there there will be a email address you can get in touch with us over there as <clears throat> uh, presser and I have my official okay uh, so kanchan uh, if you are assistant professor you have your official id then you can certainly uh, log in from any part of the world depend uh, just provide that you have internet and uh, your mobile phone or uh, ipad or computer you can access from any part of the world uh <clears throat> So Rishi, you said I checked on secondary material and found it difficult to search Article Ten. Uh, see, uh, Rishi, uh, if you're looking for Article Ten, you just go to secondary materials, right? I'm gonna I'm showing it on the screen right away, and uh, you simply click on Constitution of Constitution doc. Uh, sorry, uh, I think uh, we are we are going we both are going on the wrong track, Rishi. for your constitution of india you need to go to browse acts and rules okay and that's why i think that's the reason why you could really could really find article 10 over there so over here you click on constitution of india and say article 1 to 51a scroll down further and you will have your article 10 right over there okay okay uh, i'm a law student what can you advise me uh, jay khurana uh, hey sir i'm a law student what can you advise me for login uh, I think uh, Jay, uh, you can just need your uh, email address, and you just uh, put it over there. Can you, if you can elaborate uh, what challenges that you're facing in the login, then probably I can uh, help you with that. Okay, uh, this uh, Mr. Mohit Singh, is there any feature through which we can print multiple documents? Ah, oh, Mohit, <laughs> that's a that's a very new feature that we have. It's a case compilation. we will be doing a separate session for that uh, so and i'm sure that would be one feature that a lot of people would be uh, getting benefited from so please stay tuned to the coming uh, webinars and you'll get uh, you'll get you get what you're looking for okay after downloading the pdf of a case law it should be allowed to use highlighter and save the highlighted uh, case laws mr datta you can if you are downloading a true print then uh, it you cannot uh, do you cannot even uh, highlight a single thing you cannot even change anything because of the security reasons and that is because of the same uh, you know uh, true prints are being accepted all over the all over india in all the courts however having said that you can try downloading the non true print out version of it which is if you go to the print option i can show i can try showing it over here uh, I don't know. I, I can't really because uh, I need to do to search, do another search right now. But when you click on the uh, the print icon next to the print icon, it'll give you it'll give you two options: true print out and non true print out. You can click on the non true print out, and once it get downloaded, you can use a PDF writer or Adobe uh, PDF writer, and from there you can simply highlight it. So on the non true prints, you can highlight the stuff that you're looking for. Okay, this will be covered in next session. Uh, so currently, we have provided submission at campus only. In case you can help us, my number for our professor saying okay. So I see uh, over here uh, the the networking happening. Uh, people are trying to help universities and universities are asking help. So people from SCC are jumping in to uh, answer that thing. Uh, Kapil Ajwani is being the manager of academics. Is trying is just doing that. uh will you cover boolean search in the coming webinar absolutely shahid nawaz khan that's a very very important feature and we would not be uh, leaving that part sabanis uh please mail your oh so see you can have a look over here kapil is trying to help uh, shams khan 
then sabanis is uh, helping uh, rishi kapoor with the articles by giving her by giving him the ssc articles email id i love this <laughs> okay ayush uh, is there any option to conduct forward search on cases whether it has been appealed in a superior court uh, that's a research part ayush uh, ayush we will talk about it in the research uh, webinar uh okay uh browse acts and rules section in, uh, internally do not have give reference to judgments and digest notes um it does uh nawaz if you are on a on a on a act and uh, see like like we said in the initially this is more on the browse part this is not about research part so over here when you see on the screen it is giving you reference on the particular uh, section but it's giving you very selective one which is there but uh, nawaz answering i think what you're looking for is the search one so when we go back when we go to the next webinar which is talking about search this answer of case reference would be uh, answered over there uh praveesh thank you chetan you are entire team mgm legal tended it was really helpful uh thank you mr praveesh men uh, mgm legal the entire team attending uh, is attending this i'm i'm sure the session was helpful and uh, please do subscribe to the newsletter and you'll get to uh, you'll i will be able to, i would love to see you in the next uh, coming up seminars can i get uh anuj jain can i get links of all your sessions regarding to use scc online absolutely anuj you can uh, go to scc online uh, website scroll down at the bottom it will say uh, scc subscribe to scc online newsletter just key in your uh, email id and say subscribe you will get all the information first hand okay uh, i could not find law commission second using second material i could not find law commission report okay that is rishi rishi in over here when you go to browse secondary materials you are asking for law commission reports so you need to click on the reports of commission and committees that's right over here and you scroll down and there we have it uh, approximately i think ninth or 10th entry law commission reports you click on it and all the law commission reports are available over here right rishi okay pradeep uh, kale could you provide equivalent citation of SC, uh, supreme court judgment that get reported in law journals such as uh, for convenience access uh, pradeep kale sir i think we are already doing that um, whenever you see a judgment you will see equivalent citations available over there and moreover Uh, we when we had talked about browse law reports that's exactly what we're doing in the browse part so you can you get to see the equivalent citation of various journals and you getting to what you get is the judgment of sec but with the citation of other journals so that's that and uh, moreover when you go for find by citation you can search with any journal so Okay, our uh, appreciate assistance. Thank you, Kavitha. How do I look for recent judgment by uh, relying on a landmark cases or SEC case reference? Please share some knowledge. Okay, Kavitha. Um, how do I look for recent judgment by relying on a landmark case on Supreme Court? Is that a is that through case reference? Yes, absolutely. You can go through case reference. Uh, as far as the defining of the word saying that judgment is has a is a landmark judgment or not, I think it differs from person to person. but if you want to see on a particular judgment where all this judgment was cited on what all or what all judgments were cited in that case then case reference is yes the right uh, way to go it go for it okay mr rajesh raina informative and helpful session thank you chetan thank you mr raina i am glad you liked it okay good going chetan great initiative look forward for our future webinars thank you so much uh, saba Harian Hari Harini uh okay retracted I think uh, <laughs> we it's a lot of things going on right now but uh, I think it's